Hi everyone, this is a video to show you how I use the command record history in Rhino 5. Uh, this is a command that I didn't know for a while and uh, someone showed it to me and it just became one of the most useful tools. So let's get, uh, let's get drawing and let me show you what I mean by that. So let me start by creating a uh, polygon let's say with uh, eight sides and uh, that way we just have an interesting form then we can also create a sphere I just want to show you some of the things that I use it for um, so let's say here in this circle we want to what you want to do is you want to create um, this can be used with many different commands one of the commands that I like to use it with is with sweep you could also do it with loft uh, but let me show you what uh, what I use it for with sweep let's t let's create the I'm gonna create a plane and that's gonna show you where I'm gonna be drawing the the profile so I extrude that line and I make sure that it goes up to you know the set, the profile that I want so if I wanted to create a profile line that's going to be swept around that circle um, what you want to do is uh, make sure that this the construction plane is exactly on that plane and then we can draw whatever profile and make it sweep around uh, so let me show you what I mean well what you want to do is put the construction plane the C plane uh, and uh, do C plane by surface click on that surface and now you have the plane there hit project and what I'm doing is I'm drawing everything here in 3d but you can also go on uh, the side view and and draw that but just uh, to make it kinda quick I'll take that away there and then I'll um, hitting the ortho command I'm just gonna go around here going like go like this go like that create create a nice uh, either column or a light post or so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, using a polyline and just creating a an interesting uh, profile line that I can then sweep around so once you have that you can delete that once you have the profile drawn you can take the C plane put it at the top so world top and that'll put it at the ground on the ground level back at the ground level what you want to do is then uh, you do want to organize these call these um, curves and then this we can call sweep uh, it's just a good idea to always name your uh, your layers so let's do it sweep one select one rail okay do it again select rail select cross section curve hit record history and it's going to give you a few options. Uh, you can go ahead and look through them and see what you like better. Uh, there's different ones. Gives you different um, different results. So for now, we'll just go here, take a look at shaded, and now we have an interesting shape. Uh, but what's interesting now is we can go ahead and take that curve. So go back to wireframe and since we hit the, the record history command look at what we can do if you hit F10 it gives you all of these control points that you can go ahead and pull now and it'll update them live and you can now start uh, playing around with the design a little bit more so now if you go to ghosted you can see okay I kinda like how that looks so let's do that with that one let's do this with that one also see what that looks like okay okay what if we do that so you start um, 
start getting a cool idea. You not only with the profile you could do that. Let's see what let's let's do that. Make it a it's almost like a torpedo or a a bullet. Let's uh we can also take this curve. We can it's a circle right now, but if we edit it, make it flat, what we'll see what happens? We can start manipulating the geometry um, depending on on what we want. So let's go back. So let's keep. Uh, let's just make sure we have something so we can. Let's actually make that wide like that. We'll make this into a large. As you can see, once you array them, uh, you can you can get a pretty interesting effect. Uh, so that's that's a way that I use record history. I'll make one. I'll make a video showing you record history using Loft, which is another good way to to get uh, get some quick results and some quick designs. Thank you very much for watching.